remember i said the price of this product is good because you get a lot of products for three dollars like remember i said that okay forget it oh god who sent me youtube sent me In today's video, I'm going to be doing a product review. I don't know why YouTube has been recommending using hair mayonnaise in your natural hair. It's not new to me, okay? The concept is not very new to me. I've been seeing people making reviews on using hair mayonnaise in their hair, but I've never really thought about using it in my own hair. But that's going to change today because today I went out to get mayonnaise and we are going to try it in our natural hair. If it works then you can if it doesn't work it means probably my hair is going to suffer for it so that your hair will not suffer for it let's just get right into it I got the hair mayonnaise mm, I'm coming let me focus it this is the hair mayonnaise I just got a new one today and that's what we are going to try out my hair my hair has been in this hairstyle for like two weeks now i uploaded a video on my wash day routine it's on my channel i'm going to leave the link up here please do all to watch it okay when i finish it in my wash day routine this is the style i made and my hair has been like that since i'm going to put the hair mayonnaise in your in my hair on the bottle they say hair mayonnaise treatment for weak damaged hair my hair is not weak and damaged our hair it's not weak and damaged but you are still going to try it anyways for extra conditioning cover hair with plastic cap or wrap hair with warm towel for 10 minutes rinse thoroughly with warm water and style as desired so this is the first time i'm even opening it oh it's been sealed wow it's been sealed okay one of the reasons why i don't like using products like this is because my nose is very sensitive to smell when the scent of a product seems too strong i i sneeze i sneeze throughout that's why i don't like using products like this i just hope this has a very nice mouth smell mouth underlined <laughs> oh god this is the product just smells like chemicals i don't know well it's not too strong but i don't really like the smell it smells it smells like chemicals well so i'm just going to unbraid my hair if you like this hairstyle okay i have a video on my channel where i show you how i did this hairstyle i'm going to leave the link in one of the cards that will appear on your screen you can also check it out after watching this video this hairstyle is very simple to make and you can send it to school work i usually send it to the hospital my clinicals it's very simple minimalist hairstyle okay that's what i like doing and it, it could pass as a professional hairstyle too this is actually my go-to hairstyle when i'm going to the hospital the curls though the curls though according to the writings on the on the hair mayonnaise you are supposed to wash your hair before you put the hair mayonnaise in i don't know how this is going to work for my hair so i don't i don't want to wash my hair i don't want to go through the stress of washing my hair then i'll put this product in my hair into it will mess my hair up i don't want to do that that's why i'm not washing my hair i'm just going to apply it in my hair like that so that when it works okay but when it doesn't work i'm just going to shampoo it out i'm just going to shampoo it out i'm not going to waste any time and my hair is very tangled normally i use flaxseed gel to detangle my hair it works great for my hair i lose less i shed less hair when i use flaxseed gel to detangle my hair and i want to detangle my hair too i don't know how this is going to work we are going to start the application process i'm going to divide my hair into two parts now we are all set for the application process so let's just get right into it i'm very nervous this is it 
Ooh. The consistency. I hope this product is not expired. Well, it's expired in 2024. It has a very weird consistency. Or I think I don't like the smell. Okay. That's the, that's the first thing I don't really like the smell. Well, I'm I'm attempting to detangle my hair whilst I'm applying the product in my hair. So I'm just going to detangle with my fingers. I don't trust this product enough to use comb in my hair with only this product in my hair. So I'm just going to slightly finger detangle then twist it. I'm used to applying my hair DIYs, okay? When I apply my hair DIYs in my hair, they just melt into my hair. They disappear. Okay, I can feel my hair soaking in. But this, but this, it feels like the product is just on my hair. Like my hair is not soaking in the product. It makes me feel so uncomfortable. I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just saying my experience, okay? My first experience in using hair mayonnaise in my hair. My first thoughts in using the hair mayonnaise. This product is not expensive. It's about $3. In dirhams, it's about 30 dirhams. It's, it's not expensive at all. For the amount of product and the price, I think it's very good. I'm done with one half of my hair. I'm going to start with the second half of my hair. I'm going to finish this off camera because I don't want this video to be too long. After I'm done, I'll come back to let you know about my final thoughts. This product, this product is so heavy. Remember I said the price of this product is good because you get a lot of products for $3, like minimum list. Remember I said that? Okay, forget it. Forget it. This product is so sick to the extent that I, uh, let's just say I understand why you get a lot of product for, for three dollars. You need a lot of product just to get you a small section of hair. That's that's just it. I just kept on slapping this product in my hair just to get it to detangle my hair, and now it feels so heavy. Oh God, who sent me? YouTube sent me. I'm just going to cover my hair. I'm just going to leave this product in my hair for the 10 minutes they are saying on the container. Then I'm going to rinse it with warm water. They say we should rinse it with warm water. I, I think I get that one too because for the thickness of this product, I don't think cold water can can remove this this amount of consistency from your hair. You need to use the warm water. So I'm going to keep my water on fire. I'm going to put water on fire, let it boil, okay, dilute it, then see if this will come out of my hair easily. Then we'll get into the big reveal how my hair feels after using the hair mayonnaise in my hair. I washed the hair mayonnaise out of my hair. Well, it washed out pretty well. It washed out very well. Using the warm water, I would recommend you follow what they say. Follow what they say on the bottle. Do not do what you think is right. Using the warm water really helped a lot. It washed out very easily. And after everything washed out, my hair was feeling so i don't know how to say it was feeling it was feeling so nice okay it wasn't feeling stripped it wasn't feeling dry it wasn't feeling like it washed out very well and my hair was feeling was feeling fine after it was feeling so nice now i've twisted i retwisted it because the twist i made earlier untwisted when i was rinsing it out i made sure to kind of untwist the hair a bit so that all the products wash out very well. After the untwisting and the rinsing, I retwisted it back and I've scoured it and this is how it's looking. Well, my hair is feeling so nice. Okay, it's feeling so... 
moisturized it's feeling so nice i think i'll do it again i think i'll, I'll try this i'll try it again for the smell after i rinse this out it began to have this powdery powdery smell like a mouth powder i have no products in my hair i just twisted my hair after rinsing so you can see how how juicy my hair is looking so yes and it has i uh, i think i already i think i already said it it has this powdery mouth smell after you finish rinsing it out and also let me mention it has this mild mint like it's so mild it's not so minty out them it has this mild mint mild powdery smell that i like okay if i've used the product in my hair and it's been like an hour and i'm not sneezing it means the product smell is good if it's good for me if the smell is good for me then i'm sure it'll be good for you i'm sure it'll be great for you because i have very sensitive nose any strong scent makes me sneeze my final thoughts i think i'll use it again yes the remaining in the bottle i think i'll use it again i like the way it's making my hair feel so so soft moisturized it's not feeling stripped that's the main thing it's not feeling stripped okay it wasn't feeling hard i was not expecting these results actually i was expecting that it to be difficult to wash out my hair will be feeling stripped the product will still be stuck in my hair but i didn't i didn't encounter any of that so i'm going to try it again and i recommend i am not recommending but if you have the means you can try it too i'm sure you like it i'm sure you like it and that's the end of today's video if you enjoyed this video like the way i did and if you enjoyed this background this new background please comment that you like the background in the comment section if you really like it okay you guys liked it because i'm doing it for you guys okay if you don't like it i'll take it down but if you like it let me know in the comment section below so yes that's the end of today's video if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give me a thumbs up subscribe if you're not yet subscribed again i'm going to be leaving my wash day routine in the description box below i'm also going to be leaving the hairstyle i did before this the hairstyle i did at the beginning of the video i'm going to leave that one to in the description box below you can check it out after this video thanks so much for watching and until the next video bye